This is the third video for the Efficient Frontier Value at Risk project. In this, porf in this video, we're going to learn how to compare a historical VAR to a parametric VAR using monthly numbers. Everything you've done at this point has been using annual numbers, but now we're going to shift and use monthly numbers so we have more, we'll have more data to use for the historical VAR. At this point, you've run your entire Efficient Frontier. You have your customer's existing allocation. And so what we're going to focus in on is the existing allocation that they came in with and the recommended allocation that you're going to show them. And so what you do is you, you highlight the current allocation starting in column D. You just need the allocation. You don't need risk and return. And so from D5 through I5, you want to copy that and go down to the historical model. And over in cell B3, so over in B3, you want to pay special values that current allocation for your client. In my case, it was 60% large cap and 40% small cap. And 60% large cap and 40% fixed income. Then you come over to cell J9, and you see three numbers highlighted in green. You need to input your own assumptions there. What was your customer's target monthly VAR? That's their risk budget. What was the most they were willing to lose in a month? 1% of the time, which is risk tolerance, and then the next number you get out of the um, out of the normal table. And so what you want to do is you've now keyed this in. The historical number is actually using the historical monthly numbers for this allocation. You can see that 1% of the time you lost 6.75% or more. The parametric bar says you lost 6.13% or more. What you want to do is take those numbers and copy them down below somewhere and paste values and then you also want to paste special formats so there's your numbers for their existing portfolio now what you want to do is go back to your Fisher Frontier output find the portfolio that you're recommending copy that allocation over starting from column D Go back to the historical VAR model, go to cell B3, and paste values, space, paste special values, that allocation. And now when you go back over to J, J9, you now see your, your numbers for your recommended allocation. Remember that the allocation that I'm using in this example should have been the same risk as what um, as the current as what the customer started with and so we should see very similar numbers we'll pay special those values down below and pay special the formats so now here I have the customers starting portfolio and here I have their the recommending portfolio you'll notice the risks are very similar but they're not the same so uh, using monthly numbers we see that the portfolio recommending is actually slightly more risky but the other thing you notice is that his, the historical VAR looks much riskier in both their their existing portfolio and the one you're recommending looks the historical looks much much riskier than the parametric and so uh, it gives you some insight into whether or not the portfolio you're looking at is as normally distributed as you think because you have the skewing one thing you can do that I won't show you how to do in this video, but you might look at it. If you look at the, the cells for the historical, it's going back to um, through, through K194. You might want to do this entire analysis again, but leave out the financial crisis starting in 2008 and see if 2008 causes much of the historical skewing in the numbers when you look at your VAR.